俺はパイーさん学園七不思議が七番目トイレの花子さんはじめまして Hi there! Today we're gonna talk about one of our favorite animes. In fact, this one has only seen the day in 2020, and it has already stolen most of people's hearts with its cutest and most perfectly drawn characters. Toilet Bound Hanakako is a manga series written and drawn by Aidaro. The story follows the supernatural adventures and relationships between the protagonists. Yashiro Nene, a romantic and somewhat eccentric girl, Mina Motoku, a young exorcist, and Hanako, a mysterious ghost who hides in the girl's bathroom. The manga has been pre published in the monthly G Fantasy magazine of Square Enix since December 2014. In Kanome Academy, there are rumors that seven mysteries are lurking in the corners of the school. Nene Yashiro, a first year high school student, found difficult stories, yearns for a boyfriend. She tries to invoke mystery number seven, Hanako san from the toilet. A girl who died in a toilet a long time ago and who can grant wishes if she pays the price. However, upon summoning the ghost, Hanako san turns out to be a boy. Nene becomes his assistant. Nene Yashiro is a 15 years old high school student known to be a hopeless romantic. She invokes Hanako san so that her crush falls in love with her. After swallowing a mermaid shell with Hanako, she binds to him for eternity and becomes his assistant. She has a kind and confident personality. She is quite eccentric. Her best friend is Aoi Akane. The biggest complex is focusing on her legs, which the characters love to compare to radish, daikon. Nene befriends Minamoto Ku, an exorcist in the last year of college. With Hanako, they form the main trio. Hanako Ku, known as the seventh mystery of the Kamome Academy, responsible for maintaining the balance between the world of spirits and that of humans. His rumor, Hanako san from the toilet, presents him as granting wishes to those who invoke him on condition that they pay a decent price, inciting Nene to approach him. As head of the seven mysteries, he has incredible power and fights with a knife. He is accompanied by two white Jodai. He is often considered cheerful, childish, and extremely playful, but this is often to mask his emotions. He cares deeply for Nene. Little has been revealed about his past. Minamoto Ku is part of the college division and the second son of a family of exorcists. He first came to this school to exorcise Hanako, but quickly becomes friends with him. Who has a courageous and direct personality and has the ability to see supernatural beings. He tends to get in trouble because he is rather inexperienced, but he makes up for it with his determination. A recurring joke in the series is the way he wears a lucky charm like a nearing, which Mitsuba Sosuke, his best friend, makes fun of as a bad traffic safety earring taste. The Seven Wonders of the Kamami Academy are the school's seven most famous supernatural rumors, as well as those that keep students safe from deadly supernatural beings. Each of them have a territory in a part of the school where their power is strongest. For now, they are made up of the three guardians of the clock, the Misaki Staircase, the Inferno Mirror, and the archives of 4 pm. And, certainly, there are others as powerful as them, but are not yet mentioned in animation. On the other hand, It's present in the manga, so I invite you to read it. It's great! The thing that makes me so sad is that we won't be able to see season 2 until next year. Yeah, right, I agree, this is so plaintive. However, we can't do anything about it, so if you can't resist, just try to continue it in the manga, and I bet it's better than the anime itself. Since there were many changes. So, Toilet Bound Hanakoku did not fail to teach us things too. Hey! Seems that you have forgotten someone here. I am the one who's supposed to say that, not you! Is it some kind of law written in the constitution or something of the sort? Now enough talking and watch your senpai doing the job. So, this anime did not fail to teach us things too, such as flying high across the clouds, the moon, and also the sky if it means to achieve your dreams, even if they're hard to fulfill. That maybe nothing is impossible, maybe it's not ending, but everything's starting.